Hello guys, it's me, Sir Dan Apostol. So sa video natin ito, we are going to discuss on how to find the simple interest. So first, define muna natin what is a simple interest. So simple interest is a method to calculate the amount of interest charge on a sum at a given rate and for a given period of time. So, in Tagalog, ito yung uh, tubo ng isang pinautang or invest sa isang bagay in a given period of time. So, yung time natin lagi dito, uh, it is in terms of years. So, pag months yung given dito, i-convert lang natin siya sa years by dividing 12. Okay? So, para makompute natin yung simple interest, we have this formula. So, we have I sub S is equal to P R T. Meaning nun, multiply lang natin yung P times R times T. So, where I S or I sub S is the interest. So, ito yung simple interest natin. So, simple interest P Then, yung P stands for principal amount or yung puhunan natin. Or yung uh, principal na inutang. If uh, loan yung ating problem. And yung R is the rate of interest or yung makikita natin na lagi merong percentage symbol. And yung T, yun nga, time. So, lagi yan dapat na nasa period in years. So, yung time ay yung time kung saan Uh, tutubo yung puhunan or yung ininvest natin or yung inutang natin. Okay? Then, meron naman tayong tinatawag na maturity value or future value. So, ito naman yung uh, kabuuan na ng pera na makukuha mo. For example, nag-invest ka sa isang uh, banko. Then, yung principal amount nun kasama na yung tinubo. Ayan yung maturity value or future value. So, ang formula natin dyan, we have uh, F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus R times T or pwede rin namang F is equal to P plus the simple interest which is I sub S. So, either the two, pwede natin gamitin yan to compute for the maturity value or future value. Okay, so yung F natin stands for future value or maturity value. Yung P stands for principal amount. I sub S is simple interest. R is the rate of interest. And yung T is the time or period in years. So, try natin itong mga problems na to involving simple interest. So, number one example. Felicia wants to buy a new computer. She wants to borrow 22,000 pesos with an interest rate or simple interest rate of 5% for 3 years. How much is the interest of the loan? So, i-analyze natin yung problem dito. Ang hinahanap dito is the simple interest. Meaning, ang i-compute natin ay yung I sub S. So, by using the formula, yung formula natin, which is I sub S is equal to principal amount times rate times time. So, uh, identify natin yung mga given. So, mga given natin dito, we have 22,000, which is the principal na heheramin ni Felicia. So, that is 22,000 pesos. And, yung rate natin is 5%, then always convert it into decimal. Pag uh, nag-compute tayo ng simple interest. So, pa paano mag-convert ng decimal? Move lang tayo ng 2 decimal places to the left. So, dito yung decimal place natin. Move tayo ng 1. Move tayo ng 1, 2. So, meron tayong or 0.05. Then, ang ating time, which is 3 years. So, hindi natin kailangan pang convert yan kasi nasa year naman. Okay? Then, substitute lang natin sa ating given formula. 
So, substitute natin doon yung I sub S is hinahanap natin. So, ito yung solution. I sub S is equal to principal amount which is 22,000. So, 22,000 times the rate which is ito nang gagamitin natin yung decimal 0 0.05 times the time which is 3 years. So, multiply lang natin yan using calculator. So, that is 22,000 times 0 0.05 then times 3. So, makukuha natin dyan ay I sub S or simple interest is 3,300. So, ito yung magiging interest na umuutangin ni Felicia in 3 years. Okay, so maliwanag yon. Let's have this example number 2. Example number 2 natin. So, when invested at annual interest rate of 7%, so simple interest to, the amount earned is 11,200 in 2 years. How much money was originally invested? So, ang tinatanong naman dito sa example number 2, how much money originally? So, meaning yung principal amount or yung puhunan na ininvest. So, ang hanapin natin dun ay yung P. Again, using the formula, so I sub S is equal to P R T. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan is identify ulit natin yung given. So, yung given natin dito, we have the rate which is 7%. So, yung R natin, 7%. Then, convert natin again sa decimal. So, 1, 2. So, meron tayong 0 0.07. And yung ating uh, amount earned, so amount earned itong 11,200, yan yung simple interest. So that is 11,200. And yung ating time, which is 2 years. So substitute lang natin sa ating formula. So ito yung solution natin. So yung I sub S natin is 11,200 is equal to since P yung hinahanap natin wala yung value then times rate which is 0 0.07 then times years which is 2 so multiply lang natin to yung 0 0.07 times 2 so that is 11,200 is equal to P so multiply natin yung 0 0.07 times 2 that is 0 0.14. Then, para makuha natin yung P, divide lang natin both side ng ating equation ng 0 0.14. 0 0.14. So, mga cancel na to. So, ang ating principal amount ay 11,200 divided by 0 0.14. So, ang principal amount natin na makukuha using calculator ay 80 so, ito yung magiging, ah, ito yung principal amount na ininvest sa isang bagay. Example number 3. Jimmy invest 8,000 pesos into an annual interest rate of 8.7%. How many years will it take for her to earn 4,872 pesos in interest. So, maliwanag sa example number 3 natin, na ang hinahanap ay years. Yung years. So, meaning time yung hinahanap. Okay, again, using the formula, simple interest is equal to P R T. So, ilist lang natin yung mga given natin. So, ang given natin ay 8,000 pesos which is the principal amount so that is 8,000 pesos and meron tayong rate na 8.7% na pag convert natin into decimal magiging 0 
and yung ating simple interest na 4,872 pesos. So, i-substitute lang natin yung mga given natin sa ating formula. So, solution, we have the simple interest that is 4,872 is equal to the principal amount which is 8,000 then times the rate which is 0.087 then times t okay so i-multiply lang natin tong 8,000 and 0.8 uh, 0.087 so we have 4,872 is equal to 8,000 times 0.087 so that is 696 or 696 T then divide lang natin both side of the equation ng 696 696 parehas so cancel to so ang magiging time natin ay 4,872 divided by 696. So, we have 7 years. So, ang maturity date ng ating uh, ng, uh, in-invest ni Chimi ay 7 years. So, ganun lang. Kadali akunin yung uh, different na nawawala sa ating simple interest problem. So, let's have this example number 4. Find the maturity value if 1 million is deposited in a bank at annual in simple interest rate of 0.25% after 3 years. So, sa problem natin ito, ang hinahanap ay maturity value. So, meaning yung future value. So, ang gagamitin na natin formula, itong dalawa, which is F is equal to P plus the simple interest. Or, pwede rin yung F is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus rate times time. So, yan yung ating formula ang gagamitin. So, itry natin yung dalawang formula para makita natin kung parehas lang sila. Okay? So, lag uh, lagay muna natin yung given. So, in this case, kung ito yung gagamitin natin formula, isosolve muna natin yung simple interest. So, para masolve yung simple interest, gamitin natin formula na I sub S is equal to PRT. So, lagyan natin yung given. So, we have uh, 1 million, which is the principal amount. So, 1 million pesos. And meron tayong rate na 0.25% in decimal that is 1,2. So, 0.0025. And meron tayong time na 3 years. So, solve natin yung ating simple interest. Substitute. So, that is solution. I sub S is equal to principal that is 1 million. Times 0.0025 times 3. So, multiply lang natin yan. 1 million times 0.0025 times 3. So, makukuha natin simple interest ay 7,500 pesos. So, nakuha natin simple interest. Pwede na natin gamitin yung F is equal to P plus uh, the simple interest or I sub S. So, para makuha yung maturity value, so, gamitin lang natin yung F is equal to P plus simple interest. So, add lang natin yung principal amount which is 1 million sa ating simple interest which is 7,500. 7,500 So, ang ating future value ay 1 million 7,500 pesos So, ito yung magiging 
maturity value nung ininvest na 1 million in 3 years. So, pwede rin naman natin gamitin itong isang formula. Tignan natin kung parehas makukuha natin. So, dito kasi sa second formula natin, direct na siya. Hindi na natin kukunin yung simple interest. So, direct na natin siya masasolve. Okay? So, gamitin natin to using this given. So, ang given natin ay yung 1 million uh, rate 0 0.025 then 3 years. So, substitute natin doon solution so that is F is equal to P that is 1 million 1 million times 1 plus yung rate natin that is 0 0.025 then times 3 okay so multiply lang natin to so f is equal to 1 million multiply muna natin yung rate and time so that is 1 plus 0 0.0025 times 3 so that is 0 0.0075 then plus 1 so plus 1 so that is 1 million times 1.0075 so multiply na natin sa 1 million so that is f is equal to 1 million 7500 pesos. So, the same lang yung ating makukuha kung gagamitin natin yung formula na second. So, kayo bahala kung anong gusto nyong gamitin na formula. So, as long na parehas lang naman yung sagot. So, pero sa akin, para sa akin, yung second formula is the uh, convenient. More convenient na formula. I hope nakatulong tong video natin for you to understand the different problems in simple interest. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you on our next upload. God bless everyone.